Recently, I was able to lead a PD workshop on Canva. During that workshop, I showed teachers how they could embed a Canva worksheet design into a Google Form quiz. I decided to create this video for those that were not able to attend, and also for those who were able to attend but might need a refresher on the steps. If you don't already know, Canva loves educators and gives us access to premium features. To sign up for a Canva teacher account, visit canva.com forward slash education. You'll know that your education account has been upgraded when you see the little graduation cap on the home screen. One of the many template options Canva offers educators are worksheets. There are several ways that you can access worksheets. My favorite way is to hover over templates at the top where it says education, click worksheets. Canva has various filters to help teachers narrow down their search. Here we can filter by subject. We can also filter by layout, style, theme, color, and more. If there is a specific worksheet that you're looking for, you might want to try to type it into the search menu. Once you click on a worksheet, you can preview it and you can click customize this template. For this specific design, I can see that there are three pages. The first page is a color option. We have black and white and we also have the teacher answer key. Before you assign worksheets to your students, you have the option of customizing the design. For example, I can click on various design elements and I can change the color if I would like to. I'm going to undo that change. And the idea is that once you have your worksheet exactly how you would like it, you can assign Canva worksheets to students within the Canva platform. Students would then complete the worksheets in Canva and submit them to their teacher who would be notified that their student has completed the assignment. This worksheet was designed so that the students could drag and drop the correct term in the boxes. While I like the idea of these interactive Canva worksheets, the downfall is if you are a teacher who sees a lot of students per day, for example, I saw about 90 kids a day, correcting can be quite a chore because Canva doesn't auto-grade them for you. So my solution is to still use the awesome Canva worksheets and bring them into Google Forms, which will then auto-correct for me. Since I am inserting this worksheet into a Google Form, there are some parts of this I just don't need. For example, I don't need name, date, and class along the top because that information will be collected via the Google Form. To get rid of these items, I'm just going to click on them and click on the delete key. I'm also going to delete the word bank and I'll show you why a little bit later. One thing I noticed about this template is that sometimes I'm accidentally selecting this white box instead of the text. If there is an element that you don't want to delete that you are constantly clicking on, like this white box, I can click on the box and up here I can just lock it. And what that does is it prevents me from editing it or moving it. Now I can show you one of my favorite ways to delete multiple elements next to one another. Simply click outside and create a box and drag it around. Now you'll notice I accidentally selected um, parts that I did not want to delete, so I'm gonna try that again. There we go. And I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. Next, I'm going to resize this design. Again, I'm going to select all, and I am going to make this a little bit bigger by clicking on the corners and dragging. Next, I'm going to insert text boxes where originally the answers would go, and instead I'm going to number them. To do this, click text. I'm going to select subheading, and I'm going to change the text to the number one. And right here, there's this move icon. Click on that move icon and drag it to where you want it to stay. Looks like I need to make this a little bit smaller. And also, if you ever need to zoom in on your design, down at the bottom, there's a slider and you can easily zoom in. So now I'm just going to duplicate this by clicking on it and I am going to copy Control C and paste Control V. I'm going to select the move icon and move it to its new spot. Change the number. and repeat the process until I'm done. Once I'm happy with the design, I'm going to download it as an image file. To do this, click on the download icon, 
and select either a PNG or a JPEG. Since we have multiple pages, we don't need to save all three. So if you have them all selected, unselect and select page one. Click done and click download. Now let's open up a Google Forms quiz that I created and add this image into the quiz. Here you'll notice that I have my Google quiz ready for my students. I've named it, I've added a description, and I always like to ask them to type in their first name and last name, even though I'm collecting email addresses. Now remember, you'll have to go into settings and turn on make this a quiz and make some other decisions regarding your settings. If you're not sure about all these various settings, I have a different video that you can go back and watch. And I will link that video in the description box below. Now I'm ready to insert the image from Canva. Click on the Add Image icon, click on Browse, and the image, remember, went to our Downloads folder. So find your Downloads folder, click on the image, and click Open. Above the image, you have the option of including a title if you'd like, or I tend to include directions for my students. Next, I'm going to add a question. And the question is going to be one. And to save space on my Google Forms quiz, instead of having multiple choice, which would list all of the possible answers, and that would take up a lot of space on the Google Forms quiz, I am going to select drop down. And the options are going to be all the possible answers. Let's take a look at what this would look like so far. So students would scroll to the image, and from here, they would select what the correct answer is. Now let's go back to our Google Forms quiz because we're not done. Instead of retyping this question, we can just simply duplicate it. Now I'm going to duplicate the questions first and then go back and edit the answer key. So I'm going to continue to duplicate them until I have them all. Once I'm done duplicating the questions, I'm going to scroll up Click on question one, click on answer key, select the correct answer, and click done. And you are going to repeat the process until you're completely done with your quiz. And again, to preview the quiz at any time, you can click on the little preview icon, which is a little eyeball, and that will show you what the students would experience when taking your Google Forms quiz. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.